For the next stage of our challenge, we were going head-to-head -to, -head to test two of the latest sat phones. Picking up their signal from satellites orbiting miles overhead, they are designed to keep you in touch where normal mobile phones can't get a signal. Ah! I have the Thuraya XT, a robust polycarbonate handset. While I have the more streamlined but equally sturdy Iridium 9555. Our phones would be pitted against each other in five tests, and every time one of us lost, we'd be buried deeper in the sand. Test number one was finding a satellite. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Come on, Come on, Thuraya! Come on, Thuraya! The Thuraya satellites are in geosynchronous orbit. Sitting in a stationary position 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface, these satellites are extremely powerful. Something on the screen? I'm rooting for your Thuraya XT. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. My Iridium connects to satellites in a low Earth orbit. These only stay in range for about 15 minutes, so the phone jumps between them to maintain the connection. Come on, yes! <laughs> Registered! No, really? <laughs> Already? Look! Oh, I've just got mine! Oh, too late! You lost! Desert Man! Bring on the spades. Oh, yes! As loser of the first round, I was buried up to my waist in the sand. Test two was to make a phone call to the UK. So we're going to make a phone call, and the first one to make that connection using the acquired satellite is the winner. Great idea. Who are we going to ring? John Bentley. OK. In three, yep. two, yep. one, go! This was a great test of the phone's usability and connectivity. My Iridium has bigger buttons with plenty of space between them, so I found it easy to dial and I could make out the green and black display even in the bright sun. The keypad on my Thuraya was more cramped, so I took slightly longer to dial John's number, but the screen's display was really clear. Calling. Calling. It's ringing. Yeah, beeping. whatever. I'm calling as well. It's, beep it's beeping. Hello. It's beeping good. Yes! I'm through, I'm through. John Bentley's answer phone. Hi, John, it's Susie. Thank you so much. You've just helped me with a challenge. Bye. I'd lost two tests on the trot, and I was up to my neck in it. Test number three was phone features. All right, all right, where are we? In the desert. Yeah, yeah, clearly. I mean, more specifically, like lat and long. That's what I'm talking. Grid references. I don't know. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look, into the settings, look, menu. Navigation. <gasps> I have yeah. got that. My phone has got a GPS with which it will tell you exact position. So say, for example, you find yourself buried in the desert and you need someone to come and dig you out. Uh, I can now tell them I'm at 23 degrees, 59 minutes. That's the latitude. Longitude, 54 degrees, 24 minutes. I've been found. That's it. I don't actually have navigation on my phone. Which means that you just lost. My GPS had won me the round and that meant only one thing. So I was now waist deep in sand, and there were still two tests to go. Next up was battery life. What have you got? Well, I've got four hours talk time, but 30 hours standby. Oh, no, really? Yeah, yeah you're going to! That is, that is really impressive. Do you yeah. know what? What? <laughs> I'm not. You are. Six hours talk time, 80 hours standby! No! Fantastic. Man. My Iridium had failed me and I was brought down to Jason's level. It was time for our final decisive test, global coverage. What you got? Well, this phone has three satellites currently in orbit on its network, all right? Yeah. But they're all in the Middle East, so I can basically make a, a call on this anywhere in the Middle East. OK, but what about if you're in the States? Then, cleverly, it um, switches to the cellular network. What about if you're in the Antarctic? Yeah, I'd kind of be, uh, I'd kind of be in trouble, if I'm absolutely honest. Because I've got 66 satellites no. that crisscross the globe, and as long as I can see the sky, I can use this phone anywhere on Earth. That's not good for me, is it? No, it's not. Desert Man! Bury him. Ah, the sweet, sandy taste of victory. <laughs> Jason won! Jason? <laughs> that was great! <laughs> I swear, if Desert Man hadn't come back, I'd still be there. He would still I be there. I could move. I've been on my phone like that for the last week. Oh, I've actually been on the phone like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but listen, it was this, the Iridium, that won yeah. and made it 2-0 to me in this oh, big desert challenge. You're really rubbing that in, aren't you?